animals. And this feels like something. You know, what does this feel like? The whole tragic story behind this war is a big part of the, the mystery that you're solving. Right now, we're looking at the trickster. Am I correct in saying No, that? I don't want yeah. you guys to talk. I want to talk. <laughs> I want to do the talking, all right? Where's a good trailer at? I would probably just type in gameplay. Let's see. Oh, I did type in gameplay. Then why are they talking? Is it? Vision 2 Warlords of New York. Is that a new expansion? This is probably why the game's winning three dollars right now. I think this is why. Because they want What's people up, everybody? Now. James Duggan here with IGN to talk you through 18 it's minutes like of Outriders gameplay that I captured down in LA at a preview event. Uh, I got to play for about three or four hours. Oh, okay. Uh, and this is from the studio People Can Fly, who you may recognize from Gears of War Judgment as well as Bulletstorm. Gears of War. This, That's what I, I was tell thinking everybody of. That if you want to see this Gears of War. I haven't played Gears of War in like my 10 yapping, years. Uh, you can do so at IGN.com. So check that out if you want. Now, what Whoa. is Outriders? Well, it's a cooperative shooter RPG. A uh, little bit of cover-based, a little bit of high-mobility ARPG, and a lot of awesome combat and gun feel, and it comes together really, really nicely. You can play cooperatively with <laughs> up to three players. Uh, and this is not a game as a service. Say the developers, Bartek Mita, the creative director, as well as Joshua Rubin. Yikes. Rider, I had a chance to interview them, and I'll be referencing some of their Yeah, I definitely get Gears of War with all that blood uh, everywhere, too, with the shots. go over some of this gameplay. And straight away, my impressions of it are very, very good from the limited amount of time that I had to play. Now, does that mean that everything I played was totally devoid of problems? Of course not. For starters, I think that the high-mobility skill-based combat was a lot more enjoyable than the cover-based combat. I yeah, of course. I hate was going behind cover. Sometimes, but some like kind of essential cover-based mechanics, like being on the corner uh, of a piece of cover and moving to the next side of it, were not in the game, which was surprising. So that element didn't feel great. But the good news is the mobility felt phenomenal, the skills felt phenomenal, and the gunplay felt really, really, really good. It looks really good. I'm generally more of a first-person shooter guy. We can see the inventory this, here. And this I'm looks familiar too to me. Destiny. Um, generally more of a first-person shooter guy, just because the gun feel remnants. feels better. Remnant usually. from the ash, probably. Um, the only weapon that I've ever really loved the feel of in a third-person shooter is the Nasher shotgun which uh, the shotgun I'm using right now actually feels a lot yeah, like Gears of War. I, 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 I played the first one. I thought it was pretty decent. I played I really a little bit of the second one, and then the I stopped DMR, playing the sniper it. rifle, the revolver, and the shotgun. So uh, big ups in that department. There's also a lot of thematics going on. This is a very story-based, relatively linear game compared to something like Destiny, but not entirely linear. And mm. we're approaching our first look at that, so I'm going to shut up and let you experience the dialogue. All dirt. You're too late. What happened here? I just. What does it fucking look like? <laughs> we got mutilated. We had the bastards cornered, but. Look at that beard. Good gracious. Yeah, Captain. Kill zone. Kill zone in really? Gears of War is what I get from this. Inside the bunker up the hill. That's what I was thinking of. I wish I could look him in the eyes and you make him pay for what he did. Except. I think I'll pay him a little visit. So we saw some branching dialogue options. More there, Gears of War than uh, lead Killzone, writer but... Joshua Rubin. If there would be actually, you know what? Choices to be made not Killzone. Dialogue Gears of War. Surprisingly, no. And there will not. I really not get remnants really from the Ash is about, and I have to say, I respect that answer. Uh, it's a cooperative multiplayer game. It's an RPG shooter. It's got a lot going on already. And one of the reasons why I'm excited for Outriders, yeah, Division uh, Two, playing it and speaking with the developers is not just what it promises to do, but specifically what it promises not to do. I like Destiny a lot. But I'd be lying if I said that I didn't feel that the RPG elements of the weapons were a little bit hamstrung in order to be competitively balanced for PvP. Outriders will not have any PvP. No PvP. Uh, creative director I actually Bartek like that. Mita says, It's so hard for us to balance this game as a proper PvE experience yeah. that we basically would be unable to create good PvP content that's balanced. I'm going to pause right there. I, I don't think they should add a PvP in this game. This kind of game feels like it would excel in PvE. And the same with Division 2. I feel like they shouldn't have added PvP. To Division 2. Or, or if they do add PV, or if they did add PvP, they should definitely change their weapons. I think a lot of people left Div Division 2 because of they were messing around with the weapons a lot. And it was making it unviable. Like when they would nerf it for PvP, it would just be bad for PvE and vice versa, you know. So I'm, I'm kind of glad that this game is not doing a PvP. Even though I think it would be good with PvP. So, My balancing is just such a thing. You gotta PvP keep that in mind. As good as possible. 
Uh, and I have to say that that really shows through, even in the first chapter. There were some really cool weapons. I picked up one of them had a modifier called Bone Shrapnel that any time you killed an enemy created an explosion that dealt a bunch of damage uh, to the folks around them. And you can see these abilities that I'm using. This is outsiders. You know, teleporting behind somebody, slowing them, slowing movement and projectiles. Um, the one-shot slice. That would all be very OP in PvP. So kind of like Borderlands, outsiders. this game Outriders. skews towards <laughs> PvE Jeez. It's called Outriders, my bad. Uh, looter Shooter. A Looter Shooter game. It's crazy because this might take my attention from Div Division 2. <laughs> Even though Division 2 is only $3 right now, this might take my attention. Using, you know, teleporting behind somebody, slowing them, slowing movement and projectiles. Um, the one-shot slice. That would all be very OP in PvP. So yeah. kind of like Borderlands, this game definitely skews towards pve because there is no pvp um and therefore all the loot and the rpg elements i think click a little bit better so this i thought was going to be a pretty conventional tank and spank cover based shooter boss fight uh, boy was i wrong as i'm oh conflagrated by <laughs> a giant swirl yo look how good that fire looks on around him yeah later this year look how good that fire looks i'm conflagrated by <laughs> Looks amazing. Therefore, all the loot and the RPG elements, I think, click a little bit better. So this, I thought, was going to be a pretty conventional tank and spank cover-based shooter boss fight. Uh, boy, was I wrong, as I'm conflagrated by <laughs> a giant swirling flame tornado. Um, that was pretty much the only mechanic of this fight. This is kind of a side quest mini boss. But boy, was it enough to freak me out and make me think on my feet, and I really appreciated that about it. Here we can see that kind of going around Oof. cover woes that I think needs to yeah. be ironed out before the game releases. Yo, obviously. look at that. You see how he pushed off the cover? Any boss. I mean, it's, it's like small it stuff, but it's cool. It it's cool stuff. Feet, small, but really cool. Look at that. Push it. off. You can see that kind of going around cover woes that I think needs it's to dope. be ironed out before <laughs> the game releases. Obviously, this is releasing in holiday 2020, so plenty of time to do that. Holiday 2020. Um, the abilities work on bosses. They freeze them, as you can see, but they're a little bit diminished in the sense that as soon as you shoot the boss, he kind of snaps out of it. Uh, same with this temporal slow time effect so a little bit of diminishing returns but not enough to make the abilities feel hamstrung that symbol up there is that a that reminds me of either division two or i keep pausing all right let me stop pausing uh, okay y'all finding just a it. nice little <laughs> vantage point to just lay some shotgun fire into that boss uh but the flame tornado mm. stops me from Playing this as a tactical shooter, a lot mm. like the way that something like Doom Eternal makes you mix it up. That's really cool. In order to play successfully, I think this uh, flame mechanic does exactly that. Comboing the skills there. That's a lot of damage. Allowing to get some, some close shotgun stuff here. You can see that I've dropped down to very low HP at points, um, and I'm healing back up. Every class, there are three classes I'm playing as the Trickster. Actually, there are going to be four at launch, but three in the, the build that I played. Um, every class has a unique yeah, division two we'll talk about exactly what those are. Be looked at you. Execute this guy. I mean, it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while, so we have time to play division two. Oh. You're an altar. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Where the fuck are you fighting for those those fascist assholes? We are the ones fighting for our lives. Oh, he was trying to crawl for a gun. Do you know what they did to us? I know what you did to me. All right, NPC dealt with. Uh, one of the things I really appreciate about the side quests, it's not open world. But there is definitely mm. travel time associated with kind of branching onto the various spokes. I kind of uh, like developers open world, it as a series of hubs and spokes, the missions. Uh, approximately 20 of which you're about to see the majority of the first one, although I've cut out a lot of gameplay to kind of fit within the 20 minute time constraint. Uh, right. going back I like to open here, world. I'm teleport back to that banner mm -hmm. that I placed in the center and turn that side quest without in. Without open world, it feels more out, linear. I'm going to be talking me. over cutscenes, so remember games like this, this my are so much better with IGN. not being linear. So I'm playing as the trickster, a uh, class all about bending the rules of space time, hit and run tactics, close range. Outriders. And as a result, the passive healing mechanic for the trickster is. Um, when you kill somebody in close range, you heal, very simply. Any oh. class has an amount of passive regeneration when you're in cover or out of oh, cover. Oh, you have classes. It's not taking damage that goes up to a certain point. Uh, the other two classes playable at this point are the Pyromancer, which is a medium range, 
Fire Conjurer. Uh, be sure to check back to IGN tomorrow uh, because I'll be posting gameplay of that class, which is just as fun, surprisingly, as the Trickster. Um, they heal by killing enemies that they've marked, so you can oh. kind of heal at longer range than something like the Trickster. Trickster. And the Devastator, who I enjoyed, but not as much as the other two. Um, close range tank, standard ground type character, kind of a geomancer. Uh, here I'm picking a Dude, reward, and you can oh. see the modifications there. Clip combustion reloading creates a damaging shockwave. Going to purchase that automatic shotgun. These are epic weapons that have two modifications on them, and then there are legendary uh, ones as well. Definitely that, that division two vibe going maybe on something right something special now in addition to in the that. weapon selection. And obviously these all have different uh, like statistical that, mechanics. Going to go over here to the armor vendor and uh, do the same thing. This is actually Pyromancer gameplay. I don't have any shop footage from the Trickster, so this is what I have. And you can buy Darn kind you. of gear sets that require a higher level. Um, if you want to get better gear, what you're going to do is you're going to increase the world level. So whether you're playing through a side quest or the main story, your first time, second time, whatever, whatever level you are, you can increase the world level to get more challenging. That's a remnant of uh, the ashes frequent did. enemies that drop better Does. loot. Kind of analogous to something like uh, a torment level in Diablo. Or torment Jumping level back level. into the action, I want to talk specifically about what's happening on screen. So using the sniper rifle here in cover, <sighs> just trying to pop some heads. Ooh. Show everybody at home that Ooh. we're not all bad at games. <laughs> we, we all play quite a bit. Uh, getting some melee characters here. Going to use this big temporal bubble slow that not only slows the characters, but you can also see slows the projectiles. Dude, I love like the bodies as they three. get blasted uh, when they're in stasis. And some of these guys, martyrdom status, drop grenades on the ground, which definitely mixed it up. Amazing. Um, so going back to tactical cover-based shooter mode after kind of being... Ooh. Uh, ARPG focus there. I have this very heavily armored enemy who I'm not sure has a weak point uh, using my time slice there to just annihilate all of the. That time slice seems uh, really, really enemies. strong. And it's on a cooldown at the bottom, these but larger guys still. Shooting in the body, dealing some decent damage, and then there's the martyr grenade effect, which of course hits other enemies. I can use um, that teleport ability. The names are Hunt the Prey, that's the ability I used. The slow trap, which is the big bubble, and then the temporal slicing. Uh, picking the headshot there. Oh, money! Tier four, so now m I can kind of money. get some better loot uh, and increase the difficulty, but I can bump that back down if I want to. All right, we're going to... Wait, you can increase the difficulty here. and then drop the difficulty anytime you the want? Headshot there, promoted to world tier four, so now I can kind of get some better loot uh, and increase the difficulty, but I can bump that back down if I want to. He can... Do you can right, go gonna, back and forth with the difficulty of the level whose special power was standing still and getting nice. shot in the face. <laughs> Not as great of a fight as the other two, if I'm honest. <laughs> uh, but still something different. He has these kind of freezing orbs that I imagine if you stand in, you probably get frozen. Um, again, diminishing returns on the abilities there. And I played all of this single That's player, dope. but I imagine this would be extremely fun in a cooperative setting. And I asked the developers about that. I asked, you know, what are you doing <laughs> to make this interesting this to play easy. with your friends? The response was essentially, and I'm paraphrasing here, you'll have uh, to synergize skills on higher difficulties, and upping the world level is really where multiplayer shines. But if you just want kind of a sit back, relax, kill some baddies, uh, drink beer with your friends, that's also a possibility. So slow trap, Ooh. these are the skills I was talking about before. I just unlocked one called Twisted Bullets, which is Dude, that was, essentially Dude, look at that range on that sword. It's so much. For he was 10 years away from them when he sliced them. the world them. level is really where multiplayer shines. Oh, but back. You just want kind of a sit back, relax, kill some bad. Were you a fan of Division? Uh, yeah. Be with your friends. Not a fan, That's but I like Division. I thought it was pretty good. So, slow Trap, these are the skills I was talking about before. Looked, looked amazing, just too. Look how far away he is with bullets, that slice. It's crazy. Essentially a damaged steroid for the full magazine of the gun. So definitely better on something like an LMG or sniper rifle. Uh, yeah, I thought Division was a good game. The final fight of this level, I've skipped over a lot of uh, combat just to fit in the time constraint, and I'm going to try and talk you through the mechanics. I think the things that stood out to me about Outriders, just firing from the hip here. I just need fall, um, guys. Same. The moment-to-moment -moment feel for a third-person cover-based shooter was really fluid, really fun, very frenetic. Uh, the boss fight stood out to me as remarkable. In spite of the one we just saw, the Dope. one before it with the flame tornado, and the one coming up, I think has a lot of mechanics that are very pronounced, very fun, and it all really clicked. That part felt great. I could fight these enemies all day long and not get bored. And the developers assured me that this is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of enemy variety. There are some clearly non-human enemies you're going to be fighting. 
There are bigger, even gigantic enemies you'll be fighting uh, over the 20 missions. So while we fight this boss, who, Is if you'll take note, missions? has this really cool lightning gun, um, throws these lightning storm telegraphs as well as that kind of steel rebar electrocuted ground effect, which, by the way, doesn't go away. Uh, he's <laughs> going into the storm mode. Um, that sniper is going to work. Telegraphs. Classic, awesome boss design here. I really enjoy this kind of stuff. Me too. The to graphics look really good. Running. Like the powers, I should say. Uh, but he has kind the of graphics on the powers look really good. That if you take too long to kill this guy, the entire arena is going to be covered in that steel rebar, and you're not going to be able to stand anywhere without taking damage, theoretically, anyway. Uh, let's talk about the model of Outriders while I fight this boss. It is not a game as a service, and the developers really drove home that that doesn't mean there won't be an endgame. Um, I asked them, do you want to create endgame content? Is there meaningful cooperative endgame content in Outriders? Bartek said, yes, we definitely want people to stay with the game, but what will differentiate us from the game as a service game is that we will give the end game content when we release the game. So for the price, when you buy the game, you'll have the content to enjoy it for a lot longer if you want to stay with the game and stay in the world. So I think when they say game Wait. as a service or not game as a service, they're not talking about dropping the post-launch support for this game, but rather that when it launches, there will be a significant tail to it already. At least that's what they're saying. You know, mm. all of this is unverified, and uh, as with any game, Oof. take it with a grain of salt until you see the reviews. But um, so far, so great, and I think that that is, that is phenomenal. You know, I wish I had asked the question, is this game offline uh, mm. playable or online only, but instead I just asked the PvP and... Um, that would have been a good question. Uh, branching dialogue questions. But this strikes me as the kind of game that would be offline playable just because it being always online kind of wouldn't really vibe with that not a game as a service model but I guess we'll see um, Ooh, trying to use right my abilities to the best of my ability here they spoke about archetypes or lack thereof you know what's his like with where's his health oh there it is there are some classes that kind of thematically inhabit the space of the tank the healer but uh, mechanically they're not as rigid you can supposedly build a more supportive character if you want to but the game will not require it it will not be a scenario where hey we need a tank uh, and then a healer, and then one DPS. Okay, so I was thinking DPS is you can all be three tricksters, and you can all succeed at the highest levels of play. Nice. With just about any composition, but if I like you that. are into playing like more that. of a tanky character or more of a healer, everybody character, can play what they want. You can absolutely do that as well. Um, the build possibility is augmented, obviously, by the skills. Uh, you can equip three, but there are a lot more to unlock. The gear, the modifications on the gear and the weapons, uh, and then there are skill trees which will allow you to kind of specialize. Um, definitely didn't edit out some potato sniper shots there. <laughs> definitely just sick headshots like this one. Boom. See ya. That edits. For me. If you enjoyed the video or have questions, shoot me a follow Dude, on that was, that was nice, Dougie. man. This is this and game looks good. It reminds me of Remnants from the Ash, a little bit of the Division. Pyromancer gameplay as well as the no commentary Kill gameplay. Killzone because of the story. It's IGN.com. Come on. Um, and, uh, yeah, Killzone, Division 2. Destiny 2 because of the weapon stuff. I mean, it has a it has a nice mix of other games. I think that would make this game look really good. What game is this? This is um, Outriders. What's up, Jack? From Compton? I actually visited Compton when I was in LA. I'm in California. That pathetic monstrosity was a distraction. It's so different from what TV People says. Dying because of him. Without the supply route open, they all die. This is uh, Outriders coming uh, later on in the game. Uh, the year. You waste your gifts, running errands for them, trying to win their meaningless, endless war. You must realize you are not like them anymore. So what? I should play a being a god like you. Voices I are kind of low. Oh! But you are something even more altered and outright. Alas, Outrider, do what you were sent here for. Go beyond the frontier. These people need their gods. Only one like you could lead them to a future. Why not you? They call him Moloch. I fight another war far above this petty squalor. My war is with the worst of our kind. This one is too powerful. He will destroy us all. Unless I hunt him down. But this 
This is, I, I definitely want to play this game. The story looks pretty enticing, and the powers look so good. And the fact that it's a looter shooter. Looks good. It's not an open world, though, and that's a little weird. Like, Division 2 is open world. Sure, it's done. I like that. Supply lines open, I'm heading home. But it's definitely different. Not 